Hi there, welcome to the Teeny or Tinkers channel. I make ball joint adult and craft related content. Um, yeah, if you saw my last video, um, I'm still, it's this, it's immediately after. Um, and you know this because I'm still wearing this freaking pink outfit, even though this hat is really starting to drive me nuts um, and be really itchy. But yeah, my hair is bleached, but not colored. I feel, I feel like I look ridiculous. I probably do, let me know. Uh, I see other people like do this like hat with all their hair tucked in and they look cool. And I look like this. But anyways, uh, today I wanted to try something fun. So I've seen these around and they are the, um, they're MGA, MGMA, was it MGA? MDMA, <laughs> it's not, it's not that. Um, I mean, I hope not, but it's like a make it mini food. Yeah, MGA's mini verse. So I was intrigued by these number one because they a lot of times seem to be quarter scale, sometimes six scale, but like I think like passably quarter scale, um, at least some of the ones I've seen. I'd like to see if they work for quarter scale, but also these are marketed to children. I bought these in Toys R Us and like cool because it's like basically mini brands but um like this is resin this is uv resin and it says not for zero to three so that to me implies four-year-olds could do this and something about advertising resin to four-year-olds blew my mind so i wanted to try it and see if it's like I don't know. I wanted to like see if it was different than the resin I use somehow. Also see if it works for quarter scale. But like, I know when I'm making like doll eyes, for example, I wear a respirator. Um, I use it, usually use a UV light, but like resin has like a smell and resin is toxic. I don't know if the fumes, I feel like the fumes are toxic. I wear a respirator anyways, because um, one time I cured eyes with the flashlight, like the UV torch flashlight thing. And, uh, my chest was tight for like hours and I was like, this is it. This is how I die. And like, if we're saying these are for kids, like that's, that's wild to me. So it says warning. I just realized it says warning, not for zero to three, but then in the a small warning, it says, not suitable for children under eight years, for use under adult supervision, read the instructions before and keep them for reference. Like, to me, that is, like, this is resin, and it's really not safe for children, but we think this is cool to sell to children, but, you know, it might be fine. Uh, don't come for me, MGA. Um, I'm just somebody who works with a lot of resin, and it seems wild to me, but yeah. And just try and focus on how cute it is. Also, like, do these things need so much plastic? They do, don't they? Probably to contain the resin. Because, like, there's a layer and then there's, like, another whole layer. And it's not like a paper. Like, they could make this out of paper. And it would be fine. But they have to make it out of this, like, crinkly plastic. I feel like I'm just coming for MGA. But I'm not. I'm just observing oh my god three layers of plastic why does this have three layers of plastic packaging is it to like draw out the suspense is that what it is because you could do that with paper okay so the first one it's red and yellow it's kind of like i feel like i've lost the pastel vibe but that's okay it's red and yellow Ooh. so i have made fresh. Ooh, I've got some little cereal. I think maybe there's something in there. It feels really light, but, and I've got, I can, I think I can smell resin already. Ooh, I've got a little bowl. I don't know if this is quarter scale. I've got clover here. Uh, I guess so. That would probably be like a normal sized bowl of cereal. that might work um, and then we have good morning
make it mini food. Okay, that's the French instructions. Um, I can read French, mostly. <coughs> that's not English. Read me first. Look, there it is, how to play with resin. It is definitely resin. Think of your resin as glue. Use it to make everything stay in place. Think of your resin as glue. Like, it just seems like a weird, cause like, what if a kid reads that and they're like, I'm gonna use it to glue things together. Like that's, um, when poured resin will take a few seconds to drip or spread to make it easier to pour. Keep the bottle upside down with the cap on in a cup or bowl for at least a minute. Don't overfill the cups and plates. If large bubbles appear when pouring, use the tip of the tweezers to pop them. Um, but if you mix or stir, bubbles will appear yet. While resin is still wet, use tweezers. Take the time to carefully set them all to the side. Okay, so I'm concerned that they're being shown with bare hands doing this. Uh, oh, chef's tip, resin's still sticky after five minutes. Give it a little more time in the sun. The more sunlight it gets, the better it will set. So this is actual resin. So I'm gonna wear a respirator and get gloves. I was wondering if it was like maybe slightly different, but no, it's like resin resin. Okay, and this is probably the resin. Keep cool. Happy Sun Farms milk. We're gonna pretend that this is almond milk for the sake of me. Um, okay, so I'm just going to be back when I actually have proper safety equipment on. So. I do that partially for fun and partially because it makes the gloves go on easier. But. I don't know how well you can hear me now. I hope it's okay. Uh, this is really enhancing my pink Breaking Bad look though. And then I'm going to use a UV light I really hope you can hear me. I'm going to use a, uh, a UV light to cure it because um, I'm not going to sit and wait for it to cure in the sun because it's very cloudy and cold outside, so. It's not very much cereal. So um, I'm probably going to put some milk first and um, then add some cereal and then put a bit more milk. So I feel like otherwise all the cereal is just gonna get lost. <sighs> I feel like I get why the lid is so secure, but also the lid being so secure is like, um, like kids are gonna be ripping at this and pulling and it's gonna like spray everywhere. That's like, make a secure lid that is easier to open like an extra screw top or something i don't know something because like it's and then like this is just eeping out okay okay so i'm gonna put that much milk milk There's some bubbles in there. I guess, where's the tweezers? If I wasn't um, so worried about this like plastic melting, I would go ahead and just use like a lighter to pop the bubbles, but you know. All right, so it's not cured, but it's like got the jelly consistency. So I can put the, put the cereal in now at least. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the rest of the milk on top so it can kind of settle around it. This looks suspicious. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about what this looks like. <laughs> okay, 
because I'm just getting the resin on top and that's not the look I'm going for. And there was this thing. I think if there's a little spoon for it. Yeah. So I guess I could like do that and then have some in the spoon. Pretty happy with that. So I think I can go ahead and I can definitely smell the resin even still with like the respirator. All right, so it's still a bit jelly, but I'm actually gonna throw this in my curing machine in a minute. But um, that looks pretty cute, I think. But uh, yeah, so like, I can't imagine, would it cure in five minutes? Maybe like, maybe like in the sun, but like, I don't know. I guess I can try and open the other one. I don't wanna take my gloves off. The donuts are real cute. The other cereal's cute too, the rainbow one. Oh, there's more. <laughs> and there's a couple drinks. I don't know if I like the drinks as much if I get one, whatever. But I really like the donuts and the cereals and the coffee actually is real cute, but you know. All right, so we got another pair of tweezers. I won't need those. Coffee milk. So I think I got the iced coffee. It's my whipped cream. That's adorable. Big fan of that. And this is probably what, a straw? Yeah. Resin and whipped cream. I don't know why I have to wait to add the rest of the resin, but you know, I guess to make sure it sets. And let it like, migrate to the top and cure this top piece because oh i gotta put the straw in that was almost disaster also the reason like i can't believe that they don't include gloves or show gloves is because if little kids get this on their hands and even if they go into the sun it's gonna cure to their hands and as somebody who has cured resin like a half of a drop to their skin, it sucks. Like, <laughs> why? I really don't think I'm getting like any more of this out. I think the whipped cream is just hard. It's literally just like a little. What the hell? Like, girl, get in there. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Because theirs comes right to the top. There's definitely not enough in there for that. But that looks so much better. Let me try and get this out. into the party because they did not give enough in my opinion. Mine's just clear. they didn't leave a space for the straw so you actually can't put this on there and it looked like the picture like it's a lie 
Like you can't make it sit in there properly. Okay, it's just kind of gummy now. All right, so I'm gonna throw these in my curing machine and then I'm gonna wash the desk and this and this, the handle with um, alcohol wipes because uh, that's pretty much the only way to get them clean. It doesn't say that in the instructions, I don't believe I'll double check that, but yeah. Um, okay, so they're cured now and uh, washed. If they look a little shiny, um, I definitely threw them to like wash and they're not sticky, but this is the little coffee. It's cute. And then here's the little cereal. That's really cute too. But um, yeah, uh, I guess like my overall opinion is I think they're really great, especially for like miniatures collectors or like older kids. Like when I say older, I mean like maybe 13, 12, 13. Um, and it's not that kids can't do things responsibly, but I feel like the way the packaging is, is a bit misleading. Um, it definitely, it doesn't say resin on the front anywhere, because I think if it did, it would deter parents from buying it for their kids. But um, yeah, if you're gonna buy this for your kids um, or for yourself, uh, you should wear gloves and at least a particle mask, but I really recommend a respirator. If you're gonna do this outside, that's okay too, I guess. But um, yeah, don't, don't do this in a small enclosed space with, with kids with no gloves. Um, and also have like Lysol wipes or like alcohol wipes ready for cleanup and stuff because this stuff is really sticky. <laughs> yeah. And also, um, if you get it on your skin, wash it off like immediately. Do not let it cure to your skin. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you're already subscribed, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.